And let's look at the tail of the tape for this fight between Garcia and Antonio Martinez. I'm Beth Adrian, and he's my partner, Doug Fisher. And Ryan Garcia, 15 years younger at age 18. He is one and a half inches taller at five foot 10, and he has a very slight reach advantage. Youngster taking on the veteran. There you see him from Durango, Mexico, Antonio Martinez with former world champion Daniel Ponce de Leon now in his corner. He is very rugged. He's been a fighter that takes on all the young Golden Boy prospects and gives them work, good quality work. And his opponent tonight, Ryan Garcia, will be facing a man for the very first time in his young career. Our ring announcer is Mark Krisky. He's ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the fabulous form in Inglewood, California. This afternoon and tonight's action is presented by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Sponsored by Tecate, Born Bold, Casa Mexico Tequila, it's in the taste. And now this fight is scheduled for six rounds of lightweight action. Judges scoring the fight, Eddie Hernandez Jr., Fernando Villarreal, and Zachary Young. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks, weighing in an official 131 four pounds with a record of six wins, seven losses, five of those wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Durango, Mexico. Let's hear it from Antonio Martinez. And his opponent to my right, Fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks, weighing in at an official 131 four pounds with a professional record, six wins, zero losses, undefeated. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout. He is the pride of Victorville, California, Ryan Garcia. And once again, referee in charge of the action, Rudy Brannigan. And now Rudy with the final instructions. Chief seconds. Ya leí las instrucciones a los dos, ok? Obedezcanme. Peleen bien. Choque Montes. Ready to go. Six rounds in the lightweight division. But the round, Doug Fisher from Inglewood, California. Youngster Ryan Garcia, 18 years old, from Victorville, California, about an hour and a half north of downtown Ready? Los Angeles, Box. trained by his father, Henry Garcia. His opponent, Antonio Martinez, comes out there with the black glove. Ryan Garcia, highly touted amateur, sort of boxing at the age of eight. He lives in Victorville, trains with his dad, who was his, has been his only trainer. They don't go to a boxing gym. The dad converted the garage into their own boxing gym, and that's where he gets the majority of his work. He drives all over Southern California to get some sparring, but it's a father-son operation. And this is a fighter that Doug, in Southern California amateur scene, a lot of people excited about him. Yeah, well, you, when you win 15 national titles as a youth amateur, I said youth amateur, I mean, he wasn't always open class. It's just now 18, so a lot of those tournaments were won at, you know, between the ages of say 13, 16, and 17. Now by the time he was 17, he was doing very well in the open class division of the amateurs. But obviously there's a lot of promise when he turns pro because of his success as an amateur. He turned pro June of this year. This is the seventh fight of his young career for Ryan Garcia. Merry Christmas on the back of his trunks. He's festive. <laughs> Garcia, first four fights in Tijuana, Mexico. A good right hand landed by Ryan. And that's because he was too young to fight in the United States. Yeah. Generally speaking, you have to be 18 years of age to turn pro. He turned 18 in August, and they said that there weren't anything else for him to do amateur-wise. They'd gone to the tournaments. Just wait, so in Mexico, you could turn pro at 15, 16. Went down there, made some money in Tijuana. Had an experience, of course. And he still, he still looks green. I mean, he's still more of an amateur than a professional. At age, age 18, most professional fighters, even amateur standouts, are babies. And uh, you, you see a lot of things you like. You see the speed, you see a pretty good foundation, um, but you also see the flaws. You see the chin isn't very well tucked there. Sometimes when he lets that left hook go, he kind of swats with it. 
The first four in Mexico, the last two were in Southern California. A lot of these kids very popular on social media, promotes himself very well. 12,000 Twitter followers. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. And Oscar De La Hoya is probably one of those 12,000 <laughs> followers because he absolutely gushes when he talks about Ryan Garcia. I mean, he's high on a lot of his young prospects, but uh, if you want to if you want to make Oscar's day, you want you want to see a big bright smile on his face, ask him about Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Oh, he stunts Martinez going upstairs. There, he's one of the body, letting his hands go. Is Ryan Garcia? He's got the white gloves and he's pounding the veteran Antonio Martinez. And he's letting his hands go over and over. Ten seconds to go. Martinez is rugged. He's been in some battles in his career. Martinez needs he's to hold the punch it. back. Final seconds of the opening round. He was stung, and Martinez survives the round. Barely. Are you talking about why Oscar's gushing? Maybe because of that? Well, when he gets a guy hurt, his instinct is that of a finisher. He wants to get him out of there. Look at the face of Antonio Martinez. Eye, over the left Cut eye. over his left eye. A lot of redness and swelling around both his eyes. Garcia measured him with a one-two, staggered him with a left hook, and he follows up by going to the body and the head with the veterans back to the ropes. And that's very smart for the young man. Not overextending himself, although he does leave that chin exposed. Beautiful right to the body, and these, these wonderful flurries. You can see why Oscar De La Hoya is so high on the kid. It kind of reminds him of himself when he was that age. Antonio Martinez, the Red Trunks. He's from Durango, Mexico. The Alacranes over the Scorpion. Do they well, Scorpion sting you. They're known for being around there. He got stung by Ryan Garcia at the end of the first round. Martinez, is 33 years old. He's actually a licensed lawyer in Durango, Mexico. So we've seen him a couple times. He's taken on Golden Boys fighters Hector Tanahara, uh, Tenochtitlan Nava. Uh, also, uh, Francisco Esparza. Yeah, Francisco Esparza. And I believe those fights were in succession as part of the LA Fight yeah. Club series at Blasco Theater. And the thing about Martinez is he took all three of those young up-and-comers the four-round distance. Okay, he took their best punches and w made them work. He's not going to go anywhere. Here's Martinez. Now he's training with Monte de Leon. They met via Facebook. He was saying, hey, can you just evaluate my movements, what I do in the, the gym? So that's how they train back and forth. Then when he does have a match, like he got this one from Garcia a month ago, he came to Southern California and worked with Ponce. That's the way to do it. And Technology, he, baby. Yeah, he, you know, he, he, the old man has hung tough so far. But what he is is a journeyman, obviously, and he's a, a measuring stick for the matchmakers with Golden Boy Promotions. They, they saw that he was tough enough to, to go the distance with some, some good young pro prospects, Hector Tanahara, especially. And there wow, he goes down. And this didn't happen when he was fighting those other guys. No, nope. he, he, he took their best shots. So. We're seeing what young Ryan Garcia has. And that was just a one-two combination. I don't know how steady the legs of Martinez are right now. They're not. <laughs> they he's are trying not. to he's trying to get some spring in him, but he's gonna have to get some respect from this young man. Body work from Garcia. He is long with a five foot ten advantage. Oh, that right hand and Rudy Baragan jumps that? in. It is over. A second round stoppage for Ryan Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Rudy Berrigan stops the fight at two minutes of the second round. And your winner by knockout and still undefeated from Victorville, California, Ryan.